This is not a drill. We have a code pink. Yai Miko is back on the banner and I can barely do any pulls. We need Yai Miko. Can I even do a 10 pull? Can I? Uh, uh, oh, uh, no. No, I cannot. That's fine because we are actually at a really high pity already. As you can see, we're at five, nine. We're practically at hard pity. I mean, when you think about it, hard pity is 90, right? And we're at nine. So we just have to add zero. And if you add zero, that's doing no pulls. So this one should be guaranteed. You know, it was worth a shot. I would like to keep pulling. Maybe we'll get insanely lucky pity. The earliest I've ever gotten, which was kind of recently on my main, was 16 pity for a five star, which is insane. I will happily accept that. So we're just gonna see, you know, maybe history will repeat itself or perhaps we'll even get even more lucky this time. So, you know, I would like to get something here, though it's not exactly looking too good. Last one, come on, come on, go or not. Nah. We are now at a whopping 18 pity. And now part of me wants to save the star glitter to try and get this Lisa constellation because those are pretty hard to get and be good for the account. But in 11 days, can I get up to 34? Probably not. I suppose I'm gonna have to go through and do all of these, which I really don't want to do all of them, but I need the primo, so I'm probably gonna have to do all of them. And I was considering pulling for Yaimiko on my main as well, but I'm not going to, because if I get her on this account, then that'll make me more excited to play on this account, because obviously we'll have her on here and not on the main. And I kind of just want to save up on the main. So since I already showed this event on Swords Only, I'm not gonna put you guys through that again. I'll just go take care of it. It does take a little while. So while I go suffer through all of this for the third time, mind you, I'm just going to ask if you guys could all kindly hit that like button. But with that being said, let me just go take care of this event and I'll catch you guys in a moment for you, but many moments for me. So that is the first event nice and completed. And with that, we could do maybe three more pulls. This whole video is just going to be trying to get Primo gems and then pulling and then trying to get more Primo gems and then pulling on to the next event. So now we got the Pokemon event. I've heard some people say that they like this. So I'm curious to see what it's all about. Thank goodness that the quick start is an option because I have not done any of the Sumeru stuff on this account yet. Wait a second. If we go in here, obviously I was saving my star glitter because we might want to try and get the Lisa constellation. But if we get Yaimi then she kind of replaces Lisa right now. So if she would have replaced the Lisa, then wouldn't it be better to go for her anyways? Yeah, you know what? On this account, I think we value new characters over constellations for existing characters. Because it's more content. I know you guys want to see me get this character. At least I think you want to see me get this character. Maybe you don't. Because obviously if I don't, then that's more suffering and you guys like to see me suffer. So anything catalyst would be great. But I'm pretty sure. I didn't even look at this. Uh, wait, uh, Hazo is on this. Oh, I didn't even realize that. So I guess if we just get random four stars, Hazo would be the best. Altogether, we are currently at 25 pity. And I didn't mention it earlier, but we do not have a guaranteed 50-50. So that's going to be fun. This really does just sound like a Pokemon tournament. In which case, I should excel at this. I have a bad feeling we're not going to be able to keep the fungi that we catch after this event ends, which is really sad because it'd be cool if you could take them and then put them in your teapot after. Not that I would do that on this account, because on this account, I don't touch the teapot. But on my main account, that'd be really nice. So give me my wisdom orb. We press this and then we do that. Easy. I'm a poke. I'm, I mean, fungus master. What should we call it? This is storm lord. And this one is... Oh, this is tough. Bongo head, bongo head, or bongo head. Oh, see, I would go with bongo head, but I feel like that's just, that's too basic of a name. So, uh, you, you know, actually, I like, I like bongo head. I think that's a good one. Oh, she's actually in this event. I was not expecting that. Is Layla the first sword character that generates a shield too? If that's the case, then I really need her on swords only because that'll be our first shield. <gasps> Look who it is! It's the lady we're trying to get on this account. Does that mean you came all the way from Inazuma just to get on my account? I appreciate it. I also have to say, I really do like Layla's hair design. I know kind of random to say here, but 
I do. What's weird is usually with events, I skip through all of the dialogue in its entirety, but for some reason, I'm actually reading it this time. I think something is wrong with me. Though to be fair, it is all voiced as well, which I think helps. There is no timer, which I like, and it just tells me how I have to organize it. Okay, that's not that bad. So if we rotate this, and then rotate that, and then switch these to- Oh, I'm done. Oh, I'm just too good at this. Look at that. Three moves. Easy. I do like little mind puzzles like this, though. And only three moves again. I gotta be honest, they are throwing a lot of information at me at once. I hope it is not as difficult as it sounds. I'm just, you know what? I'm just gonna try it. I'll figure it out as I go. Okay, so we can hit, what, E to pick a target, and then we can use their skills which I'll just mash through. And then we pick up this and it regenerates one of their skills. And I guess that's about it. I will admit it's a unique concept. I mean, I guess it's just Pokemon, to be fair. But still, they had to implement this somehow. And yes, I know you can go through and read what they all do, but you think I'm gonna waste my time doing that? I have a Yaimiko to bring home. Oh no, it's one of these. I always hate monolith challenges in this game. And now I have to defend it with mushrooms. I mean, I will say it's very obvious that behind this whole tournament, the people running it are not good people. It was clear the moment you shut up and they said, this device is completely safe. You don't have to worry at all. Because if it was completely safe, they wouldn't even have to say that. So the story is a little predictable, but we can still just try and enjoy the combat of it. Oh, please, please ignore me for five days. How about a year? Ignore me for five years. This really is just like Pokemon, huh? There's always one trainer who just wants to completely exterminate them. Wasn't that kind of like Lissandre's goal from X and Y? Oh, yes. Thank goodness they have this in the event where I get to wait. It'd be such a shame if I didn't get to wait at all during this event because it is my favorite thing to do. Oh, cool. I get to wait again. Watching this clock spin is basically my guilty pleasure at this point. It's just, oh, so invigorating. How are you outside of the arena? Why am I in the arena? Why am I the only idiot who's standing where they're all fighting? You know, I just now realized that my first skill heals all of the other mushrooms. So I guess I now understand what two of them do. <laughs> yes, we get to wait again. Again. And what's funny is in the last video on Swords Only, when I had to wait a bunch during the Archon Quest, I saw a comment saying, you know, you could just go do other stuff. You don't have to wait. Yeah, I mean, would you rather these videos come out once per week? Because if that's the case, then yeah, I could just go farm slimes or something. But you see, in order to make these videos, I need to keep progressing through the stuff I'm doing. That's just kind of how it works. I don't have the luxury of just, yeah, you know, take your time. No. Everything I do is a speed run. I wonder if you can actually lose in these. Like, if you don't activate a single skill, will you still win? Also, our Hydro Slime is kind of OP. It heals them all for over 20k each. How are you supposed to lose with that? Oh, we get to fight the Fatui? Now, call me crazy, but I think his mushrooms look a little bit bigger than ours. Oh, Okay, that's a little bit too much text for me. Oh, ooh, the best one I've seen. We are not just waiting until the next morning. No, 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 we're not just waiting until a specific time. We are simply waiting a full two days. We get to max out this clock and sit here for about 20 seconds. I am so excited. This event has more parts than the Archon Quest did. That's kind of crazy. You know the funny thing about Yaimiko saying how everything played out so nicely is kind of like Hoyuverse complimenting themselves on their own story writing? And say goodbye to the fungi. I suppose we won't be getting them for our teapot, huh? Okay, so now I guess I'm just gonna go through, level all of these up, and then we can head over and do the rest of the stuff that we have to do with them. Which means the only thing left in this event is doing whatever's in here. And there's actually a decent amount. Well, this is gonna take a while. I didn't realize that each one of these domains has three separate parts in it. That means after this, I have like 27 more of them to do or something. Oh gosh.
Luckily for us, these were the only ones that had three per level, and then this one was just one for each monolith. So it wasn't as many as I thought it would be, but it still did take a while. And I think the worst part is knowing that I have to do that on two more accounts. I'd be lying if I said I was looking forward to that. So now I should be able to just go through and claim absolutely everything that this event has to offer. <laughs> oh, there's so much. I love it. Yes. Give me everything. Give me everything. Oh, there's so much. It just keeps going. I love this. It was so worth not collecting anything until the very end because doing this is just so satisfying. Wait. I didn't score 2,000? Oh, no. This is the only thing I haven't claimed in the entire event. Didn't expect to be having to do this again so soon. Why did that go so much faster? What the heck? Before I went all the way down to 30% and I felt like it took forever. That was over so quick. Good to know for the other accounts. But now we can finish off the event. Oh, I mean, I, I don't really want you, but sure but that's it that's that event done that event is done and well there, there's another one i could do too but surely i won't need to because look look we have a thousand primos and i'll go ahead and get this as well so many wishes to bring home yaimiko well, i'll take another purple i think that might be an early purple hazel Oh, I will take that. Anything catalyst related obviously is amazing. A gold would be even more amazing. Uh, oh, another early purple with our Hazo. Oh, yes. I love it when I call it. So I don't think we're going to be getting a gold right now, but I can't complain too much because we did just get two catalyst constellations. And thanks to those constellations, we get another wish. This is a whole 33 pity and it's another blue. Well, look, 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 we have C3 Hazo, pretty nice. And we have our first constellation for Yanfei. And we have a stupid C2 for Dory. How, wait, how do I have C2 for Dory when she just came out recently, but Yanfei just got C1? That that's just wrong. It looks like for this other event, we need to get the regular camera first, which is fine because this account never got it and I kind of did want it on here anyways. And thanks to having done this on two or three other accounts already, I know exactly where these people are. First one is this lady right here. And the second one belongs to this dude. We just turned him back into this guy. He gives us the camera and we're good to go. And of course, we're quick starting this. I have a strong suspicion that this is going to be time gated because it is a new event. But perhaps we could squeeze a couple primo gems out of it. There's a lot of instructions for this. I'm just gonna walk up, do what the thing tells me, and take a picture. Use camera to take a picture. Got it. Beautiful. E you know what? This is kind of a cool event, though, because you can actually get pictures of the skills from a different angle than you normally could. What? Child? Excuse me. What are you doing here? What quest or event is he a part of? I don't think it's the picture one, but I don't know. Well, and then Yoimi is over. What is just going on here? The characters are actually in the world? This is crazy. So unfortunately, this one requires you to use a bow character and aim a charge shot. But as long as we don't actually shoot anything, that's fine. If I just inch as close as possible to the camera, right here is the closest we can get. And then we take a picture. Unfortunately, Kudrosara did blink in this one, so we're not going to be able to use it. I never knew that she actually closes one of her eyes when she's aiming the bow until this specific moment. Because you never get to see this angle of the character. I'm going to get attacked in here, aren't I? Oh. Oh, yeah. This will be a fun sp this, this, okay. That, oh, there, oh, nice. Cool. Sick. Amazing. I thought they thought this through and made it so that they wouldn't attack me because they were gone, and then they just spawned next to me. <laughs> That's a, that's a funny picture right there. Actually, you know what? This one's funnier. I think Yanfei has never looked better. Did someone order a T-pose with tongue out? I can't say I knew that she stuck her tongue out after her normal attack string. I'm learning so much about these characters from this event, which is exactly why I wish they would rework the camera system in this game a little bit to give us a lot more control when we take pictures. You know, it'd be kind of cool if they gave us a gadget where you could set down a camera and do exactly what this event is doing. I actually think that'd be a really good idea for them to do. I would love that. And now we just go through and claim up all of our primos. <laughs> and using said primos, we get a whole 
one more wish and it's blue but it's okay because if we do all of our daily commissions i'll have enough primos to do another wish all daily commissions are now complete so we can claim this up and we can actually claim this because i did this off camera but then saved it so i could claim it on camera so we get one free acquaint fate gonna be a blue but that's still a blue i guess i was trying to make it sound positive but i just couldn't although wasn't it on this account that recently we got the five star catalyst off the standard banner so actually i'm not gonna complain oh and we get two acquaint fates so we have enough primos for another chance at yai and two a oh Four, okay, you know what? Let's get that number even higher. I don't want to waste these level up books, but that's okay. Oh, I guess I need to go get a couple of those. But we can ascend Rosaria for the first time, get a free wish. And then I just have to go find two of those plants somewhere in Sumeru. Oh, ooh, oh, there's actually a bunch here. I cannot believe the first place I came to actually had these. Beautiful. Okay, that's all I needed. So we have six acquaint fates now. We are, in fact, guaranteed one purple. All right, let's see what we get. Anything? Anything catalyst related would be fantastic. I don't think I need to say that every time I wish, but uh, yeah. You know, sometimes you just need to remind the game what you're looking for. So anything catalyst related, like a Lisa or cat. Well, that's unfortunate, but maybe, maybe all of our luck went into this banner and now we're going to get the Yaimiko. Now we're proposed with a little bit of a decision to make. All of our potential events are done, at least for the time being. I could do this to get 20 more primos, but that still doesn't get me a wish. And besides that, it would just be completing whatever quests I have. So the question is going to become, do I give in and get one of these? I really don't like spending on these challenge accounts because it is meant to be a challenge, but at the same time, the challenge challenge isn't supposed to be necessarily getting the characters. Plus, I think people just want to see me use all the catalyst characters on the account. I think the big thing is if I'm going to spend this game, I'd prefer it be on my main account. However, I think you guys do want to see me using Yaimiko. So just for all of you, I will go ahead and get one of these. So you guys remember earlier when I asked if you could just hit that like button? Well, if you didn't hit it, then could you please just do me a favor and hit it now? Oh boy. I sure love spending my money on things I won't regret, but that's okay because we're not going to lose this 50-50. For if we come and stand before this tree, how could we possibly lose our 50-50 here? This is the tree that Yaimiko always stares at, so she must be trying to tell us something. And what she's trying to tell us is if you do a 10 pull directly in front of this tree, you are guaranteed to get Yaimiko on the account. Ooh. Favoni's Codex. I don't mind that. And a Toma. You know what? This is the one. I always see people posting their double, triple, five-star wishes with three, four stars in it. It's crazy. I believe this is the banner on this account where we are going to get two five stars in one ten pole after this purple. But it's fine because this will give us another Hazo. This, this will give us an... This one's going to give us another Hazo, as you can clearly see. And just in case you were curious, we are at 55 pity, so this brings us up to 65 pity. And it's going to be purple with two Hazos. Here comes Hazo number one right about now. Oh yeah, I forgot she was on the banner. Well, hopefully, we'll be seeing you more on Swords Only. Okay, Hazo pulls aren't going so well. I'm a little worried now. You know what? While we're here, we might as well see what our fortune has in store. Here we go. Great rising. My lucky object for the day is the Lavender Melon. Good to know. Let me just grab all of these lavender... Excuse you. Just grab all the lavender melons. Very nice. And now leave before Lisa dies. So those were our lucky objects for the day. Which means we should be able to run back up here. Look at the tree. And then do a tentacle. This brings us up to 75 pity. So will we be seeing a golden wish here? No. Sick. You know, as long as we get Yaimiko, it's okay. Even though I'd like to save as many wishes as possible for future banners. Remember back when I said we were going to get the double five star because I was feeling kind of lucky. Yeah, I'd like to retract that statement. And I know I could just do single pulls here, right? I could. But it's a lot more exciting to do a 10 pull. 85 pity. I'm expecting a gold. We get the gold. 
Will we see double five stars and will we get Yaimiko? This is 76, 77, 78. Here comes 79. You love to see it. But now the real question is, can we see another one? I'm expecting not, but no, I want you, but I don't want you on this account. Oh, a Hazo. Okay, very nice. So it doesn't look like we're getting that double five star, unfortunately, but we did get Hazo as well. Don't worry. I will be using you hopefully soon on Swords Only. Yes, just go to sleep and when you wake up, I'll have you on a different account. Now, how does one build a Yaimiko? I think the plan is Nahida, Yaimiko, wherever she ended up. Probably Barbara, because I don't have a Kokomi and we need a healer. And then maybe Sucrose? So the team comp would look something like this. And you guys can let me know down in the comments if this is a decent team comp with the characters we currently have. So we have about 30, 31 wishes left, which I will be saving for whatever catalyst character comes next. Sure, I could go for Yaimiko's weapon, but I don't think the weapon banner is worth it, especially right now. If we had a ton of wishes, then sure. But because we don't, I'm not going to be wasting them there. And when it comes to artifacts... Uh, I need to go farm more artifacts. Now you see, I was smart. I've been saving my condensed resin, and then I left all of my resin stacking up only using when it was maxed in case we got Yaimiko so that I could then invest some of it into her right away. Ew. For the sands, I might go with EM over attack because we're going to be trying to do some hyper bloom stuff. Oh, that is terrible. Okay, one chance. Ooh. Crit rate, but no crit damage. Uh, I might have to keep it for now. I really don't want to. If it was my main account, I definitely wouldn't keep that piece. But because it's spells only, and you know this account is oh so well built, we will be going ahead and probably keeping that one. Oh gosh, we are getting really unlucky with these drops. Come on, Thundering Fury. Thundering Fury. Thundering Fury. No Thundering Fury. Oh no. In order for us to ascend her, we have to unlock Enkonomiya on this account. I do not want to do that again. Well, I guess I know what we have to do in the next episode of Spells Only. But in the meantime, I guess I'll just be in this domain a bit longer. This one's gonna be the lucky one. Guaranteed. Why does the game know exactly what I want? and it gives me the opposite. If I wanted that set, which I don't think anyone does, but if I did, hypothetically, I wouldn't be getting it. I'd be getting all Thundering Fury. It's reverse psychology time. No Thundering Fury. Please, I don't want a single Thundering Fury on this account. That'd be the worst thing po- Okay, great. What is this one called? What, what is your name? Thunder Soother? Okay. So going forward, we only want Thunder Soother. Thunder Soother only. We just have to speak it. Thunder Soother. Only Thunder Soother. Nothing but Thunder Soother. Here we go. Here comes the Thunder Soother. Oh, darn it. Gosh, I really wanted those Thunder Soother pieces. At this point, I think the game is genuinely listening to us. Because whatever I say, it gives me the opposite. Now we have about a minute until our resin hits 40 and then we can condense it and go farm another artifact set. But in the meantime, we can craft these up and see what we can get. This is the last one I can craft. And you know what? I will keep the- Oh, eh, very low roll on the crit damage, but double crit. If we can get an EM or an attack percent, that'd be great. Let's see if we can get EM or attack percent. We get flat defense. My favorite stat in the whole game. Please don't- Oh, gosh, come on. Look, I know we won the 50-50 for Yaimiko after I had to spend money. So I don't even know if I can consider that that lucky. Can I please get some luck? Now, remember game, Thunder Soother. Here we go, defense percent Thunder Soother. Oh, well, okay, this time it actually listened to what I didn't want. Oh, we got defense percent Thunder Soother, wow. And a defense percent Thundering Fury. Watch this, watch this, those three artifacts combined will give us the best feather. You know what? That's actually not bad. That's actually not that bad. Oh, Yaimiko, I have feather for you. If this rolls crit rate, that would be amazing. What am I expecting? Defense watch. Here we go. Well, um, here is the best Yaimiko I can make right now. Unfortunate, but... Yeah, that's our Yaimiko for the time being. I need your opinions on this. Do we run 
this team? Or do we swap Sucrose out for Mona to hopefully get some more hydro application going? Both versions make sense to me, but I'm sure some of you know better. But I guess in the next episode of this, we are going to have to make our way down to Enkonomiya to try and unlock that boss. Because now that we have Yaimiko, I would very much like to be able to build her. So if you are new and you enjoyed, well, first off, thank you for watching this far into the video, but feel free to hit that subscribe button so you can always be up to date on what's going on with these accounts. And as always, I will see you guys next time.